This video is about my adventure from Broome to Exmouth. A total of 615 nautical miles, which I did in 12 days. Broome to Port Hedland was 310 nautical miles. Port Hedland to an amazing Dupooch Island was 60 nautical miles. And then from Dupooch Island to Dampier was another 70 nautical miles. Then Dampier to Onslow, where I nearly ran into a very large black tug on a mooring, 10 p.m. at night, that was 120 nautical miles. Then from Onslow to Exmouth, via the Exmouth Gulf, was 55 nautical miles. Well, it's 5.30 p.m. Sunday and the wind dropped this morning about 8 a.m. from its 15 to 20 knots and it's been sort of around 10 knots all day today. Very, very nice. As I pan around to the south, I guess, I'm pretty much heading west. Sun's going to set in another 15 minutes, and I'm pretty much going into the wind. So I've got myself packing jib set up. So well, that's the end of day two. I've had dinner all set up for the night. Well, it's Monday, 8 a.m. And I've got 41 miles to go to Port Hedland. So I went through the night with no wind. So I slept most of the night getting up two or three times. So very long legs, 50 miles, 30 miles. And the wind came in about 6 a.m. this morning. So it was just perfect timing. But everything's going well. Oh, I've got a, except for the engine, I've got a leaking diesel line going between the fuel pump and a onboard filter. It's been rubbing against the engine and eventually it has worn through. So that pipe's under pressure. So I managed to put a sleeve over it with three hose clamps and Looks like it's pretty much stopped it. But it means I have to get a, a new hose sent up from Book in Sydney. So I'll be in Port Hedland until the weekend. Well, I've got no video coming into Port Hedland, but as the pictures are showing, there's lots and lots of ships anchored out there. Typically they are 300 metres long, 45, 50 metres wide anything from an 8 to 18 metre draft. So you have to ring the Port Hedland Port Authority and get clearance to come in and you can come in on the each side of the channel outside the markers but you have to wait until you're given the okay from the harbour master. And outside the channel markers it's very very shallow quickly. So I kept pretty close to the markers and I got in, no problem at all, chose an anchorage 
and sat there and marvelled at these mammoth great ships and these huge tugs towing them in. And the Yacht Club has a basin from memory, two metres deep, low tide, high tide, anywhere between four and five metres, and you can only get into it on the high tide. So I'm going out of the duck pond. I've got four diesel jerry cans on board, but I've got to go and pick up another two. So it's another half hour and I'll be carrying the dinghy over the bar. It's Thursday, just gone 6 a.m. and I left Port Hedland 11 p.m. last night. I've had good breezes all night just off the bow, 12 knots, so I've been able to do five and a half, almost six knots with the engine and two sails. So I changed my jib to the smaller jib at Port Hedland. The other one, when you furl it, you can't really head into the wind very much. It's got a big belly in the middle. Well, it's almost 9 a.m. Thursday, and I've uh, been going five plus knots most of the way from Port Hedland. So I'm a uh, couple of hours ahead of schedule, and I'm looking at De Pooch Island. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. I had the anchor down in De Pooch Island at 10.30 a.m. Thursday. And I went ashore and had a look around. Fabulous island with all the rocks. No idea how it came to be like that. And I left at 6.30 p.m. the next day, Friday. Well, it's Saturday, 7 a.m. WA time, and I'm at the entrance of Flying Foam Passage. But I can vouch there are no, there is no foam today. So very good. Of tide should be slack now, almost slack. So it's perfect timing. Got the rod out just in case. I had the anchor set by midday Saturday and I spent a very pleasant two and a half days in Dampier including dinner at the Yacht Club Saturday night. Then I left on Monday 7.30 p.m. so I could get to Exmouth around Wednesday lunchtime via Onslow. Well it's Tuesday the 29th of August and I left Dampier last night at 7.30 p.m. Had to stay awake till about 11 p.m. to go through all the channels. And then from then to now, which is almost 6.30 a.m., I've been able to have some good sleeps. The wind's only been five knots, often on my, uh, from the north, which is on the starboard side. And then, of course, when I went to turn southwest, the wind turned from the southwest. So I'm going into the wind, just four knots, and I'm on my way to Exmouth via Onslow. As the sun rises. Well, 
Well, it's Tuesday, 11.30 a.m. and I'm just passing North Sandy Island in about 11 metres of water. A half hour ago I caught my very first cobia, about a metre long, which I managed to release without harming it. Well, it's a quarter to seven Wednesday morning. Sun's just rising. And I'm about to enter the Gulf of Exmouth. So I've got another five hours to go to Exmouth. There's a bit of uh, 15 to 20 coming in early this morning in the Gulf. So I stayed at Onslow for three or two and a half hours to let that pass. So hopefully I'll get 10 to 15 from the south which would be side on. Perfect. Well, it's a quarter past eight Wednesday and I'm well and truly into Exmouth Gulf. And the wind is from the south and well, it's around about the 15 knot true. So it's just lovely sailing. No motor, 